Wait, what? This Wi-Fi is ridiculously temperamental. I mean, you spend in one spot to get perfect signal, you move to another spot, it's ridiculously slow, go back to the original spot, it's slow again. If your Wi-Fi is temperamental just like this and you want to be able to fix your connectivity issues, speed up your internet connection, speed up your Wi-Fi, well, today I'm going to show you how to do it and it's not going to cost you anything. Let's do this. <music> Hey, welcome to another Talking Tech with a Techie Guy. My name's Liron Segev, where I make technology simple. If you're into phones, gadget, apps, tips and tricks, how-tos, hit that subscribe button. And today, I'm going to show you how you can fix your Wi-Fi issues once and for all and never have that frustration of that slow internet. Let's do this. Okay, before we get going, what I'm going to do is do a download test using speedtest.net. I want to see what my download speed is going to be 31.62, which is quite horrible. And then the upload speed is 11.56. Okay, now what? Right, next up, go into your Google Play Store or your Apple Store and look for this tool. It's the Netgear Analytics app. Now it is free and regardless whether you have a Netgear router or not, this will still work. So go and install that on your phone. Okay, let's launch our newly installed app and I'm going to analyze my current network. This is the Wi-Fi that I'm currently connected to. Don't worry, it's very, very simple to use. It, the signal is divided into poor, good and best. And as I'm walking around my house, I can identify the spots where I'm getting terrible signal. So that's already a useful application. Now, what I'm gonna do at the bottom of application, I'm gonna look for this thing that's called the network status. Looks like a little Wi-Fi, click on that. And now it's gonna identify not just my network, but all the networks around. And you'll notice they're all using the same channel. So in other words, we're all fighting for that Wi-Fi signal on the same channel. That's not good. Okay, so what do you do? In the app, tap on the thing that looks like a little radar, and that's gonna give you the current channel status that I'm connected to, which is currently channel one. But it's also gonna show me at the bottom, what are the better channels to connect to? Six and 11, gonna give me a great and best signal. So let's change that. Now, head to my computer, go into my routers admin console. Typically, these are the addresses. You have to find out from your manufacturer what it should be for your specific settings. Log in, click on advanced. Now, I am looking for something called a setup and I'm looking for the wireless setup, the Wi-Fi setup. And here, instead of having the channel to be automatic, I change it to 11. And the other one is already at 44, which is great. Those were the two channels they told me it's not gonna get less interference. Whilst we're here, go to your DNS setting. And this time, instead of using the default one, use Cloudflare new DNS, 1.1.1.1, 1.0.0.1, .1, and then Google's DNS, 8.8.8. .8. All of this is gonna give you a much better experience. Okay, apply and let's test it. Back to our speed test and the moment of truth. And oh my gosh, um, yes. This is 150 meg downloads, which is a little bit of an improvement of the first, what was it, 31.62. So um, clearly this works. The only difficult part was finding out what your router's username and password is and remembering how to log in. Once you get that down, the rest is simple. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of content, smash that head below and subscribe to this channel. Check out some of these other cool videos and I'll see you on the next episode because that's Take some full. Cheers for now.